hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're joining me for the very first time this is real talk with louisa and i am okeke louisa chenea so today we are going to be talking about why startups fail and how you can avoid them if you're watching this video right now it's probably because you want to become a truly successful entrepreneur you want to build something great something stable something valuable and of course make money in the process well here's a spoiler alert or maybe a worrying alert depending on how you choose to deal with this information many new businesses fail and many great ideas still don't make it true now this happens sometimes for a very good reason and other times because of the negligence of the business originator if you're watching this video i want you to buckle up get your pen and your paper because we're about to list out the reasons why these businesses fail and how you can avoid them now here is the first reason why these new businesses fail many a times the owners of these businesses get overly excited about these businesses but slowly lose a hang of it because they do not have well-structured plans for their sustainability what do i mean you start up a business but you fail to take out time to strategically map out a structure for your business what is the financial plan of your business what is your visibility strategy who are your target audience or what is your target market so these are questions you need to ask yourself to carefully map out a plan for your business to aid its sustainability now to avoid this particular mistake one would need to see their business more than it is many many a times many small business owners do not think there is a need for a business plan so they go ahead to start up these businesses without putting down a good plan to enable them run this business to give their business a structure so at the end of the day you do not fail now this is an advice please do not start what you cannot sustain that is why you would need to map out this plan strategically and in my next video i'm going to be teaching you how to write down a business plan regardless of your business whether it is a small business or a big business i want you to map your ideas down write them down and make sure that you have a good structure for your business to aid its sustainability second reason businesses fail is because many a times the new business owners launch their business and expect it to work like a get rich quick scheme forgetting that there is great need for these business ideas to be nurtured and also to be strategically cared for in order to improve its growth they cannot work like a get rich quick scheme because these businesses are more or less like babies they will need to be fed well you would also need to put in the required hard work to ensure their success and these new business owners also forget that there is need for them to be committed to the growth of these businesses so they can go from their infant stage to the big stage they will need to put all the hard work it requires now this is how you can avoid this mistake understand that your business is not a get rich quick scheme understand that there is need for it to grow see your business as a child that needs to be nurtured and cared for because you do not expect a six month child to begin to work you expect we expect that the parents rather would give this child the required care and nurturing to enable the child's growth so this is exactly what you do to your business you grow your business from its infancy stage to the big stage by putting in the required hard work doing the best that you can to make sure that it grows and not expecting so much from such a little business now this is the number three reason why these new businesses fail these new business owners launch their businesses in very unattractive areas and very static areas and expect their business to work they are overly expectant and when these businesses do not yield their required profit or their desired profit they fizzle out now here's the thing do not launch businesses in unattractive areas this is how to avoid this mistake do well to do a good market survey before starting your business now I see persons who sell stuff that are not, should I say, things that they should sell in their locality. For example, we live in Nigeria. There is no snow in Nigeria. You cannot make out a business out of selling winter jackets. That is unrealistic. So you have to, you have to launch your businesses in 
places or in fields that are actually attractive the things people actually buy you cannot tell me that you are a student and you are selling lands and all you have in your contact is student numbers a lot of students cannot afford lands so that might not work as you think it would but then if you can grow your contacts to working class people and all of that you see that you would see change in your business where are unattractive areas again many unattractive areas for example in times like this people are expecting to buy things for lesser amount due to the inflation and all of that and you need to launch businesses that cater for the needs of people not necessarily their wants because sometimes wants can be deceptive if you sell wants you might have issues with getting the required profit don't get me wrong you might actually make it if you have good contacts and you have people who are ready in fact define your target market once you see a ready market and you get a good good business then you're good to go do not launch businesses when you do not have a defined target market and also know the estimated size of those who your products or your company or your service or anything that you're going to be rendering to people will reach so that you have a defined target and you are sure that these persons will patronize you that is the way to get it done do not launch businesses in unattractive fields or static now fields. here is the fourth reason why many new businesses fail many new business owners do not see themselves as a separate entity from their business i'm going to give you this first hand this made my first business collapse see yourself as a separate entity from your business because this is very important to the growth of your business keep good financial books do not spend your business money on your personal needs i cannot overemphasize this do not spend your business money on your personal needs you will need to see yourself as a separate entity from your business now here is my point um in 2016 when i started my clothing business i had issues with this i made good sales quite all right but i forgot or i mistakenly did not separate my business from myself i had friends calling in for favors and well my business money was right there i gave it to them I had meat at home my business money was right there oh well a friend came to visit and then i didn't have anything to give the person well i go to my business purse collect my money and then i do not account for it now you would need to be very accountable in your business if you take out 10 kobo from your business be sure to write it down and be sure to return it because that is the only way you can make profits if you don't do that here's what will happen you're going to eat into your capital and before you know it you are barely making profit and at the end of the day the business is over now you would need to be very strict with yourself it takes a lot of discipline to do this i know it can be hard imagine having thousands of naira in your account and then you have a need and that money is actually your business money probably your capital mixed with your profit too maybe you haven't clarified things maybe you have not sorted yourself out maybe you don't even have a separate book for your business and they are all in your bank account be sure to be careful do not spend into your capital or your profits be sure to open a separate account for your business be sure to keep a good financial book if you have um stocks coming in record your stocks if you if you made a profit record your profits put it in a separate account or a separate place different from your own personal money so you don't spend into it this is one big mistake many new business owners make maybe business is going great but then you are doing more than you should you are collecting more than that business can handle you are collecting more than that business can sustain you will bring down your business moving to the fifth reason why new businesses fail many new business owners fail to harness the knowledge that lies in studying the failures or their or the successes of their predecessors or competitors now this is one of the greatest greatest secrets to getting a business grown there are many persons who have launched businesses in different aspects maybe places that you also want to launch your businesses or ideas you already have but now this is the thing this is a good secret if you know such persons there is need to study their failures or their successes you need to harness the knowledge that lies in that you need to ask questions when you see results that you like do not end up just celebrating that person 
Re-ask them for the actions that led to the results. This is how you know and grow your business. For example, I want to start a clothing business. I know that Minister A or Preacher B has a clothing business and that um, business is actually flourishing. It's something that I would love my business to be like. It is like a business model for me. What do I do? There is no harm or there is no shame in going to meet Minister B. Please, oh, well, how did you start your business? What was it like for Just you? Just ask questions. Be sure to get the actions that brought about these results. Get it from them. And if Minister A had a clothing business and probably failed at it, there's also need to ask the person, ah, and what went wrong? How come this clothing business failed? And get their reply so that you can avoid these mistakes. Now, many new business owners do not do this, and that is wrong everybody you, you shouldn't be fighting with people who sh you should be learning from your competition should be your biggest lesson because they might be doing way better than you or less than you depending so if they are failing know why they are failing if they are succeeding know why they are succeeding so that you can use this knowledge to grow your business and also many new businesses fail because of this entitlement mentality and other times because they fail to also leverage on the connections they have some persons are so entitled you start up a clothing business and you expect your family members to buy from you and your only target audience is your family member yeah here's a here's a big boohoo to you no darling many a times you start these businesses and those who you expect to support you will not come true for you that is the truth and you have to brace up and you have to forget that entitlement mentality you need to go out your family members are not your only customers. The world at large are your customers. Probably you get your own defined market, but before then, see the world as your customers. Anybody can buy from you. Do not limit yourself. Do not get too entitled. And also, if you have good connections, leverage on them to sell out, sell out your market. Do not feel bad. Do not withhold yourself. Make sure that you are always visible. Your business is always out there. Nobody would carry your business like you would. Nobody would talk about your business like you would. So you need to be out there. So if you're a business owner and you're saying, oh, no, I don't want to talk about my business to this person. And this person actually has the ability to buy your business market or anything that you are selling or your product or this person actually has connections that you need to push your business to the next stage my dear there is no harm in telling this person ceo i sell this i sell that i offer this service i offer that service it might just be the breakthrough you are looking for do not hold back set specific measurable achievable relevant and time-based goals for your business these are the five reasons why new businesses fail and how you can avoid them and if you've not subscribed to this channel do well to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified when contents like this come on board thank you and it is bye for now